Hello, this is Joyce Latimer from Virginia Tech. Today we're going to be talking about using PGRs on perennials with a focus on the genus Heuchera. And I'd like to thank our sponsors, Fine Americas and eGro. First of all, Heuchera is a common landscape plant. The common name is coral bells. It is a basal brancher, so most of our control is on that crown. It's grown primarily for foliage, although there are several cultivars that have a nice floral display as well. We basically have palmate leaves on long petioles. So for improved quality of the finished plants, we're looking first to increase the basal branching, increase pot fill and the fullness of the plant, then we're looking to control any stretch that we might have in those petioles, particularly of some of the larger cultivars. So we've used Configure on a lot of different perennials, and Heuchera has been one of those. This is raspberry ice, and the picture on the left is at four weeks after treatment. The treatment was applied about two weeks after transplanting. And you can see it that even at four weeks after treatment, we have an increase in the number of branches, going from about 12 branches up to 18. When we look at eight weeks after treatment, the picture on the right, you can see that we've gone from about 15 branches, 15 and a half branches, up to 26 in our configure treated plants. So we have a nice increase in the number of branches and the fullness of the pot. A little bit of height control, not really a significant amount, but a little bit of height control with configure. Let's look at those plants up close. On the left, you have your control plant as we peel back some of those leaves so that you can see the basal branches. You can see how sparse that really is. And you can also look at the one on the right and you see your plant treated with configure, 600 parts per million, and the number of breaks that we have in that plant. In fact, to count these, we have to do a destructive harvest, tearing them apart and counting the individual branches in that crown. We've also looked at a tank mix of configure with piccolo. This was silver load. You can see at uh, four weeks after treatment, again, the treatment was applied about two weeks after transplant. The control plant has about 13 branches, whereas our configure treatment has about 23 branches. Piccolo is very similar to our controls. Occasionally, we will see the growth regulators or growth retardants causing a decrease in branching, but basically for Heuchera, we had the same number of branches. But when we tank mix the configure and the piccolo, we had our greatest number of basal branches at 28. We have a little bit of height control, not significant, but this was a cultivar that was already pretty tight, not one that needed a lot of growth regulation. So we can say that the configure enhanced basal branching, the piccolo alone provided very little height control, and the tank mix enhanced basal branching as well. This is a close-up of the plant treated with that tank mix of 600 parts per million configure and 120 parts per million piccolo. You can see how many basal branches we have down there and how full this plant will be as it grows out. So in summary, Heuchera is very responsive to configure. We had significant enhancement of the basal branching. And Piccolo gave us very little height control, but very little was needed for the cultivar for silver load that we tested this on. So you might look at Piccolo for height control if you have a cultivar that has a tendency for these petioles to stretch. Combining the configure and piccolo in a tank mix does not reduce the effectiveness of the configure in enhancing branching. And we've seen with other trials that the tank mix of configure and piccolo does not reduce the growth regulation properties of the piccolo. So feel free to test your tank mix combinations on Heuchera, and we would love to hear your results. Thanks again to Fine Americas and eGrow for this video. Have a great day.